the from the short term and the time scale from short term to the long term we may have the this time these uh cases. So we are trying to so the brain simulator tries to uh, help the scientists or help the research to discover the the relationship between the uh, higher level like functional outputs or behavior to the uh, physical structure genetic patterns uh, which we we can support them to discover. Uh, the relationship between the function and the uh, uh, physical structure can do patterns. And then is the modular approach. So uh, much of the much of computational neural science focuses on properties of single neurons and small circuits. That uh, we can see that we in the blue brain or the C2 they use the approach in the neural level. However, the module approach uh, to modeling is needed because uh, a complex system can may be uh, decom decom decomposed, decomposed into a set of interacting subsystems. So the complexity has been reduced. So we can uh, uh, more easily to and analyze all the human brain. So if we try to model everything all at once, we will understand nothing. So we have to uh, study uh, some modules, uh, step by uh, modules by modules. Yeah. And the so the other major uh, are proposed three views of module for model uh, the modules are as brain structures. Yeah. That is correspond to the physical structure of the human brain. And the modules are schemas. That is something similar like the uh, function or the combined functionality of actual brain regions in a single extra schema to represent uh, uh, some some neurons or some neural regions. Like we we may have the visual uh, functions. However the visual functions are, are composed of many, many uh, many many different regions. Many regions that they have the functions sim uh, related to the visual. So we can have the abstract schema to represent the visual area. And the modules as interfaces, uh, they are interface between the simulator and the outer. And design, they design to help the user interact with the model. Model, so we can have some test exam examination examination to our models. Like we can adjust our uh, neurotransmitter, the amount of our neurotransmitter, or something like that, yeah. to see the uh, 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 to see the correctness of our model, to verify our model. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I have mentioned, so I skip uh, this. And then is the uh, neural simulation language. Uh, was developed to support such modeling modeling. Uh, the the team of the author they also have uh, built out a team and they develop a develop a, a language that could be model model in human brain and it is up up to oriented approach and you can run a task at C plus C plus in Java or MATLAB. So we may uh, use some of their uh, modules or uh, reference the application of their uh, implementation. And, uh, and then is the further issue is talking about the uh, simulator independent description of the of my 
models. So different different simulators may have their uh, different models may run on different simulators, but different different simulators may not uh, cooperate or may uh, may not interoperable. So uh, in order to solve this problem, we have we have to define some standard language to make the models can make the simu mainly simulators can interoperable. So we can define a, a standard SML and can be extendable to make these models can to make these models run on different simulators. Yeah. And uh, there are many many standards. So we can uh, survey these these standards and try uh, and uh, pick up one uh, as our uh, pick up one to use. Yeah. And the next step and the focus is uh, uh next week uh, Tony and I may need to have a comprehensive study of the neuroanatomy and uh, neurophysiology and cognitive psychology in order to decide uh, uh, and construct the components and mechanisms of uh, the brain simulator. And uh, we try to provide a tangible brain simulator framework, not just a workable application. And uh, I may focus, I will focus in on, I will focus on AD as the Hammond disease and trying to simulate the dynamicity of the brain cognitive and the matches between structural patterns and explicit behavior. Yeah. Okay, this is my reference.